I have to ask you guys to brace yourselves. I got a little um, taste of a sound check earlier. Three girls who we absolutely love here in the Espresso studio. Um, they are going to pay a very special tribute to Tata Nelson Mandela. Um, and we're going to get a bit of background first, but I I'm warning you, this one is going to tug at the heartstrings. Kat? Indeed it is, man. I just heard the sound check a couple of minutes ago. A very, very beautiful song. We'll talk about that a bit later on. Last time I saw these ladies was at the Summers, was it? When we were performing on was the it beach. The Summers? Was it, it was there. That's how long ago it's been. You it's guys have been, been absent months. out of my life. What is this? But we what feel like this? we see you every day because, yeah. you know, you Because you watch the show every day, right? Yeah, yeah. You know you do. You know. But it's good to have you guys in studio and uh, doing this very, very special tribute. But before we get to that, how's the year been for, for you so far? Uh, obviously, the award season was very great for you guys. And otherwise, musically, how's it been going, Dan? Oh, it's been going great. We've opened um, for Mike and the Mechanics, Patrizio, Jamera Kwai. We've been doing loads of Afrikaans festivals. We've been performing everywhere, living out of our suitcases. Eh. You know, you're not minding this. I mean, this is the kind of this is the rock star life, right, Exine? I mean, it's 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 part of it. It's 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 great, but you know, you also need that moment where you're just at home with your family and your loved ones mm -hmm. and. It's the festive season, so yeah, that is yeah. going to be happening, and we're very grateful. Um, and then we've got an amazing gig happening on New Year's. Oh, really? Yeah, on New Year's. Do you tell. Um, it's at Grand West, uh -huh. so that's going to be a lot of fun. I think I think anyone can come. Yeah, it's free. Anyone can come, so come and party with us on New Year's. Whoop, whoop. If you ever get the chance <laughs> to see these ladies live and it's free, you best to be there. You best to be there. And, and your plans for, for the festive season, Hamza? Oh, family. Uh, as well. Yeah, you know, when we travel so much, you really miss out on small and important things. True. Mm -hmm. um, so, definitely with the family, friends, yeah. food, lots of food. <laughs> lots of food. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good luck for January. Okay. It's going to be yeah, great gigs be coming up. <laughs> but, um, I mean, this past week has all been about you know, the South African family as well, uh, mm -hmm. getting together to honor Madiba. What, what, what has it been like for you ladies? I mean, we are part of, uh, I, I could call us the born, the born free generation in some way in that we were born into this uh, generation where freedom was there, mm -hmm. dreams were there, choices were there for us. Yeah. So what, have, what has the past week been like for you? Very emotional. And I just think that for the first time, I realized that, uh, you know, proudly South African you know, Madiba gave us that proudly South African. Yeah. And I think just seeing everybody's tributes and it's just so amazing how we've all come together to kind of unite through um, his passing but celebrating his life. Yeah. Um, and I was even inspired. I was like so inspired. I, th I wrote um, this little, uh, it started off as a poem, but just the letter that I would um, write to him because I never got the, the opportunity to meet him. Yes. And I just thought, you know, what would I have said to him if, wow. if I had that opportunity? Wow. Um, because, you, you know, he'll forever change the world. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, we're blessed that he could be South African. And, and, yeah. and, and not just that, the song then became, or the poem became a song, mm. and you got one of the most prolific actors uh, in our country to do Amazing. the voiceover to the song. Tell me about that, that collaboration with John Carney. That was like completely, that was like so by chance. Um, I said to Mike, our manager, like, you know, I hear this, I hear um, John Carney's voice just narrate the, the first part of the song. And because, you know, he's, he's like completely transformed South African theater and yeah. he's, he's such a legend. And I'm, I was at um, drama school and I studied about him. Um, wow. And I mean, he did the, the audio um, of to Long Walk, Long to, Freedom, Walk to Freedom, yeah. Yes, and Mandela's Children as well. Yes. Wow. So it was just like, I thought, you know, if there was anyone that we could do a collab with yeah. and on such a special um, piece of work, it would be him. Fantastic. And he agreed and, you know, Mike flew him up to Joburg and he recorded um, the narration yeah. for the, the beginning of the song. and. I, I can't it's wait like, to hear it. It's I mean, insane. Like I said, if Soundcheck was anything to go by, really, really special work. We can't wait to hear it a bit later on. In fact, he's watching right now. Hi, Mr. Carney. How are you? Hi. Good, good. Thank you for watching. We really do appreciate it.